everybody, it's Barbara. We made it another week. Oh, yes. So much craziness in the world. All we have to do is be, don't get sucked into all that 3D craziness. Take deep breaths, meditate, take naps, go for walks out in nature. Do whatever you can to just maintain your calm because that's what we're supposed to do. Play with crystals and rocks. Put your feet in the grass, the dirt, or the sand. Reach up to the stars or the sun. Do some yoga or just some stretching. Don't freak out. Okay, we're in that time, remember, where it's all about how we act and react to things. Don't react. Just be an observer and go, oh, yeah, I see that. I can help this person, but I'm not going to get sucked into it. Or this happened to me, and I can see it as an observer, and this is how I'm going to fix it, deal with it, ignore it, whatever. Be an observer. That's how we get through, especially these crazy times. Happy fall. Oh my gosh, the leaves are so beautiful. We went for a drive on Sunday and we saw, we saw lilacs blooming, which is so weird. Mullen blooming. Um, it's like the mullen has had a refresh, a restart. It's respawned, what, how, however you want to say it. Um, and then we've got the leaves on the trees falling. So it's like mama nature's confused and that's okay. She's confused. We're confused. We came here to have front row seats to this big change that is going to happen. That's already happening. And so here we are. Get some popcorn and enjoy the show. If you're new to pick a stack Wednesday, this is what we do here. We've got three stacks. Today, each stack is either a tarot deck or an oracle deck, and each stack has a stone um, or crystal. Your mission is to intuitively choose a stack without even seeing them. Yes, this is right brain, this is intuition. Think of your idea issue question can pertain to yourself, other people, family, the world, and then choose a stack without knowing what they look like. I'm trying to help people use their intuition, wake that intuitive side up, because this is where we need to be. Okay, have you thought of your idea, question, or issue? I'll show you the stacks now. If you choose stack number one, you're going to get a card from the Angel Tarot deck. That is Doreen Virtue. And I'll show you the crystals when we do the reading. If you choose stack number two, you are going to get a reading from the Spirit Song Tarot. That is Paulina Cassidy. And if you choose stack number three, you're going to get a reading from Beyond Lemuria. And that is Izzy Ivy. Ready? All right, we just have some water. I finally had to break down and turn on the heat in my house. <clears throat> so now my throat's dry. Oh. I'm super busy in the next few days, but I think maybe on Sunday, I'm gonna find the time to find all my glass pans. I, I have radiators in my old house. So I put a glass bread pan on the radiators in the bedrooms and I fill them with water and essential oils. So we have built-in diffusers, it's awesome. So we'll throw in a little eucalyptus, some rosemary, maybe a little lavender. Whatever flips my cookie at the time. All right, are we ready? Okay, let's do this. Stack number one. If you chose stack number one, you are going to get 
a reading from the Angel Tarot deck. First, you get, let's see, this is the, the good side. This is pyrite. See the pyrite in there? So that's the pyrite, all those little flashes of, of gold, also known as, as fool's gold. Um, this is in its matrix. That side's really cool too. I like pyrite like this because I, I like it in its natural form. I mean, the, the tumble is cool. Um, even the cubes are, I mean, I love cubes. Cubes are cool. But this in its natural form where it's still in the matrix is absolutely stunning. So the thing with pyrite is it's got a positive energy. You know, they, they used to call it fool's gold back in the day. Um, and then they dismissed it because it's not gold. Okay, but you know what? It's got a really good energy. And it's good for the solar plexus. So self-worth, self-esteem. Um, it's good for when you're depressed. When you're sad. It could be about money. If you're sad about money, this is a really good stone. If you have your own business and you have a little cash box, cash drawer, um, type of thing. Pyrite in the cash drawer. Um, it can be good for caregivers. Caregivers. So if that's your job, if you're a CNA, if you're a nurse, um, or if you're just taking care of some elderly parents or grandparents, this is a good stone to have on you. It can give you energy and help you be balanced. So if you're having problems feeling balanced or centered, or you're tripping a lot, I mean, oh, the way these, these energies are going up and down and up and down, it's hard to just maintain. There's times when, I know I've said in a past video where I keep tripping over the dog's water dish. The water dish has never moved. It's always in the same place. I keep tripping over it. It's like it's not part of my reality. And I forget that it's there. Um, so having two pyrites, one in each pocket um, or other places, but two, one on the left side, one on the left, on the right side, can help you be balanced. And it's grounding. So yeah, no more tripping over the dog's water dish. So weird. Um, I'm getting that we need two cards. Is it this one? All right. I'm getting two cards from the Angel Tarot deck. So the first card that came out is the Nine of Earth. Nine of Earth. Now, the Pyrate is a very earthy stone it's grounding it's it's a lower chakra the nine of earth is like um the nine of pentacles pentacles are very earthy it's material things nine of material things um basically if you chose stack number one this is saying you know good things are coming to you but also you need to appreciate the good things that you have you know, the universe, we're like a magnet in the universe. If we appreciate and are grateful for the things that we have, the universe says, oh, you appreciate that? I'll give you more. Um, if you worry because you don't have enough, the universe says, oh, you're worrying because you don't have enough. I'm going to make sure you never have enough. See, because you're a magnet. So this is saying, appreciate what you do have and the universe will bring you more if that's what you wish. Um, the second card that came out is the Page of Fire. The Page of Fire. Fire is, okay, so earth is very grounding, right? It's stable. And fire is that passion that, you know, think about lighting a fire under somebody. They're gonna get moving. So, 
the fire brings in creativity. It brings in that, that creative passion for doing something, for creating something. Um, it can also be like being an extrovert, outgoing, and it can be mischievous. You know, when somebody is, has that passion inside them, and I'm not talking about anything sexual, okay? But when somebody has that passion inside of them, they tend to be more outgoing and take risks, um, play jokes on other people, especially like this time of the year. Oh my gosh, you drive around and, and you see like Halloween decorations. And, and I love it when people are creative. They're not just going to Menards or someplace and just buying inflatables, but they're being creative. I love that. Um, that's this energy. We are in the energy of, of fire, regardless of what the astrological signs are right now. We're in this fiery time. You look at the leaves, they're yellows and oranges and reds, color of fire. We're turning the heat on in our homes, fire. Um, there's all this decorating and, and of course, candy buying and eating. It's this energy. Then on top of that, we've got all these solar energies and then we've got some kind of election coming up. I don't know. Um, people are like, Rrr! there's all this fire energy. Well, this page is like a young energy. Pages are young. Think about, you know, page, knight, queen, king. You start out young and you get older. So this is that young energy fresh, new, appreciating what you have so that you can have more. There's this, it feels like in this, in this reading, we're on the cusp of something, right? I mean, I've been saying this for how many weeks? We're on the cusp of this great change. This is saying, Get your house in order. I keep hearing that over and over again. Get your house in order. And I keep thinking for me, what does that mean? Get my house in order. Okay, my house is clean. My laundry's done. Dishes are done. I have food. Hmm, what does it mean? Well, maybe it's not for me. Maybe mine's already in order. It also means this house, okay? This physical body. Make sure that I'm getting some exercise. I'm eating healthy. I'm drinking plenty of water. I'm getting good sleep. Um, Stuff like that. So, <laughs> so get your house in order. Appreciate what you do have. Appreciate the people that you have. This new fiery energy is coming in. And that new fiery energy can disrupt things. That's why it's there. Think about a forest fire. It's there to disrupt the forest so that the new baby trees can can hatch. <laughs> I don't know why my guide said hatch, but the baby trees need to hatch. They're kind of like little eggs. And think about the acorns. They have to bust open like an egg. Um, so this is basically saying, get your, get your, mm, get your stuff in order. Get your stuff in order. Appreciate what you do have. This has nothing to do with being a hoarder. Okay. That's not what I'm talking about. Get your house in order. Um, get whatever you need in order. Now we're coming up on this election and I did mention that, and I don't like talking about politics and I'm not going to talk about politics, but whatever happens in three weeks, I think it's three weeks. Um, whatever happens, deep breaths, don't react. Okay, there's going to be a lot of stupid people out there that react. Either way, however, whatever happens, they're going to lose their minds. Don't let that be you, okay? Appreciate what you do have and bring in that young, fiery, creative energy. Okay? And then we've got that pyrite, which is right here, which is saying self-worth, self-esteem. Not just I'm good enough, but I got this. I am amazing. Okay? I've said it before, I'll say it again, that whole I am enough, pff, that's bull. I'm so much more than enough. And so are you. That 
Let's stack number one. Get your house in order. Whatever that means to you. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have a little extra food on hand, especially those people in bigger cities. Um, if you're depending on Uber Eats or, or something like that, could you at least have something in your house, like three days worth of food? That's not a lot of food, okay? And I'm not even talking about perishable. Get yourself some macaroni and cheese and, and you know, stuff like that that you can put in the cupboard. That if you don't eat, you can eat later. Yeah. Or you can donate to a food shelf if you don't eat it. But everybody should have some extra food. Canned green beans and peas. Some tuna. I'm making myself hungry. <laughs> that was stack number one. If you chose stack number two, you are going to get a reading from Paulina Cassidy's Spirit Song Tarot. I love this deck because I love the artwork. And along with this deck, which you're going to get three cards, you have, for your stone, you have Malachite. But you have this Malachite, which is, let's see, this Malachite. So our friend Mike makes these. This is elm, this is elm, and this is ironwood. And he does the wood and he makes the stone look like it's growing from the wood. It did not grow there, he did that. So you get malachite and I don't know if you can see, this is one of those like fuzzy malachites. It's an amazing piece. And um, all three of our stones today are available for sale in the shop. So it's one of those, I always say that because there are people invariably that message me and say, hey, is that one for sale? So I wanna say it in the video. Yes, all three of these are for sale today. And that malachite, malachite is a very strong protector of children and travel. So especially if you're traveling with children, it's like double duty. Um, have a malachite in your car. Have a Malachite if you go on a plane trip um, or train or whatever. If you have to travel back and forth to work every day, have a Malachite in, on you. If you have kids, having a little necklace or maybe tucking a Malachite under their mattress. So um, it will help bring that frequency of protection for your kids. Um, so... It's been called the mirror of the soul. Like it just goes right to your core. It's heart chakra. Um, it can also help get rid of nightmares. It's an awesome stone. Beautiful. It's got a lot of copper in it too, which, you know, gives it, helps give it that green color. Um, so if you like copper, you're probably gonna like malachite. So malachite. Heart chakra. There's which one? This one? You want both? Okay. All right. One more. And there it is. Okay, you get three cards today from the Spirit Song Tarot. You get, for the first card, you get the card of strength. This is Major Arcana. Major Arcana, this is the elephant. Think about the elephant. Giant, grounded, strong. You get the Seven of Crystals, also known as the Seven of Earth. So very earthy, um, grounded, more grounded. And it's represented by the ant eater. I just love that. Because how many ant eaters do we see in tarot decks? Seven of Earth or seven of, <clears throat> seven of Pentacles. And then your third card, the one that flew out, is represented by the bat. And it's the Queen of Feathers or the Queen of Air. Queen of Feathers represented by this bat that flew out of the deck. Now, this just brings to mind that... This morning when I let the dogs out, 
we're on Main Street here, and there was a murder of crows in the street. Apparently somebody hit something. I don't know. I, I haven't really gone over there to look. You know, probably a skunk or something. Um, or a squirrel. So there's this murder of crows over there in the street. But, you know, it's Main Street. It's like everybody's going to work and these poor crows are trying to eat on this carcass. And I was like, oh, this is a good way to start the day. Um, and then I started talking to the crows. Well, 10 minutes later, so the roof above this part of the building is flat. And all of a sudden I hear, well, the crows are up on my roof because I've been talking to them. <laughs> of course, the dogs are going crazy. They're like, something's up there, mom. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know it's the crows. I went upstairs, I looked out the window and I opened the window and I was, I was talking to the crows and, you know, we've had a hard frost. So the condensation that had gathered on the roof was frozen and they were trying to break it so they could have a drink of water. And so we have crows this morning and bats and an anteater and an elephant. And for some reason I had to tell that story in stack number two because the animals are more active right now. In stack number one, I was talking about this fiery time. Well, animals feel all the stuff going on with the solar energies and the moon energies and the, the people's energies, the people that are losing their minds. Okay, the animals feel that. And I've had so many people come to me and say, I don't know what's wrong with my dog. My dog is just like, has so much anxiety. And I'm looking at the person going, yeah, he's getting it from you. <laughs> I can feel your anxiety. You're like freaking out about everything and your poor dog is taking it and you see it in your dog, but you don't see it in yourself. So the, I'm supposed to talk on behalf of the animals in stack number two. If your animals are doing things that are out of the norm, they're feeling these energies too. They need grounding and calming just like you do, just like your neighbors do just like your family members do, or your spouse or your kids. We all need to feel calm right now. And for the next month, especially like this is a make or break time. You either react and lose your mind or you just sit back and go, that doesn't involve me. I've had people say, I'm so mad about what's going on. And then they name something across the world. Okay, I understand, but you don't really know what's going on over there and neither do I. So take a deep breath, be calm, meditate, and just send love over there. Instead of you being mad, find the peace and calm inside yourself and send love to whatever you're mad at, to the area, to the people, to the animals. To the, to, to, to the earth and the air and the water. Just send love and calming energy there. The world doesn't need more hate and more anger and more anxiety. And the animals feel it. You know, I was talking with somebody yesterday about when people pass, do they cross over imme immediately into the light? And I said, no, they don't but animals do. Animals cross over into the light because they don't have all this dogma and the, all the stuff going on in the left brain that makes them doubt things. They don't have egos. Okay, well, wait a minute. I think my dog Althea has an ego, but most dogs, most animals don't have this ego that stops them from crossing into the light. That's why animals cross right away. People don't because they're like, oh, wait a minute. I don't even know if I'm gone. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm stuck. I don't want to go because I want to watch over my children. Well, okay, you know, that's great, but you can do it from the other side in the light. So there's so much going on here in stack number two. It's all these chaotic energies. And I feel them swirling and it's almost like 
There's a swirl here in the wood. There's a swirl here. There's swirls in the stone. If you feel the swirling energies, your job is not to react. Your job is to just take deep breaths and just be. And be the strong elephant. Bring that strength in. Okay? Grounded. If there's a tornado, you should not be outside in the middle of it filming it. Okay? I don't care if you did watch Twister and Twisters and Storm Chasers and all that. You know... That's not real life. Those people, it's either movies or shows, and there are people that do that, but also they practice at it. You and me, we should not be out in it, okay? So the swirling energy, take yourself back, sit on the couch, mm, sit in the sun, have a cup of tea, a cup of hot chocolate, whatever, Makes you happy, coffee. And just watch it like a movie. And don't get all stressed out. Ground yourself, whatever that means to you. And the queen of air, she didn't get to be the queen by flipping out all the time. Okay? She didn't. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. Um, one of my guides thinks he's funny. Um... You also need to know that, so the queen of air, the queen of, of feathers, um, this is the queen of truth. A lot of truths are going to be exposed in the next month. And your job is to not freak out about it. Your job is to be that, be strong and grounded and go, okay, how does this affect me? Go with the flow. How do I feel? Don't freak out. If you need somebody to talk to, find somebody that's like-minded that you can talk with. I feel so much chaotic energy in stack number two. And it's so funny because look at, look at that beautiful sun coming through. I love it. Um, don't Get sucked into the chaotic energy is what this comes down to. Please don't. If you're running around freaking out about everything or mad about everything, you need to remove yourself. Have a timeout. Mm -hmm. Timeouts are good. Go take a nap. <sighs> Just chill. Just chill. This too shall pass. You got all the way to today in your lifetime. The next month is going to be fine. If you're going to freak out, it probably won't be fine. If you're going to take a deep breath and meditate and go, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to be here and I'm going to watch the show. Like it's a really bad movie. You're going to be fine. Okay. Interesting stack number two. This is why I have a room of crystals. So I can go sit in that room and just go, la la la, yep, none of this is part of my world. Nope, none of that stuff going on out there is part of my world. Grandfather's son is part of my world. Hello, Grandfather's son. Thank you for giving us all these light codes. Oh, you guys, stare into that sun. He's giving us light codes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Grandfather Sun. One more. We are so blessed. That's all you have to believe. I have faith and I'm blessed. And I'm guided, guarded, and protected. I'm guided, guarded, and protected. And I know it. And that's why I don't freak out about all this stuff that's going on. Like, I just, or like we got this. You're going to be fine. Don't worry about it. That was stack number two. If you chose stack number three, you are going to get a reading from the Lemurians. 
I love the Lemurians. And they are love. They are love. They are the physical embodiment. Well, they're not the physical embodiment of love anymore. They're more like metaphysical embodiment of love. I'm loving these rays, these light codes. I am not going to adjust my camera because this is fabulous. All right. What do we have for a stone? We have mookite. Mookite. This is the stone of here and now. Kind of like what I was talking about in stack number two. We need to just be here and now. If you're worried about what's going to happen in three weeks, you're not in the here and now. If you're worried about what's going to happen in four weeks, five weeks, two months, three months, four months, five months next year, you're not in the here and now. We need to be in the here and now. We need to be concentrating on today. What's going on today? I'm teaching a class tonight. That's my here and now. Um, what am I doing right now? I'm focusing on this video. In my head, I am not thinking about the class tonight or the art show we're doing tomorrow or Friday. Um, no, I'm here. And when we're in the here and now, it's much easier to connect to our guides because they're in the here and now. If I'm worried about three weeks from now, I can't connect to them now. Kind of reminds me of, oh my gosh. What's the movie? Spaceballs. Where there's that one scene where they're talking about now and they have like all the, all the videos and they're, they're trying to talk about now and they can't be in the now because this is, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a terrible explanation, but if you've seen Spaceballs, you know the, mo the part of the movie. Um, we need to be in the here and now, okay? Um, that will help balance us. Again, if we're worried about what's coming, we can't be balanced here because half of us is out there. Um, this is a really good st stone for accepting change. <laughs> Guess what's coming? Yeah, for the next six months, there's going to be changes. It doesn't matter what they are today. Just know that there's changes coming. And don't be scared of them. I got my mukha. I'm good. I'm in the here and now. This is also very grounding. It's sacral chakra. It's also solar plexus. It's, it's grounding. It's like, I picked this one. Well, my guides picked this one. It's heavy, you know? So I can just imagine if I'm not feeling grounded, I would want to... If I'm sitting on the couch, I would just, you know, hold this. Um, probably don't want one this big in your pocket. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you do. It's up to you. Um, so that mukaite is also good for bringing in new experiences because of the change, right? So new experiences. If you're starting up a new business, have a mukaite somewhere where you are, you know, like, you're at a computer have one there if you have a cash register have one near there or in the cash register with your pyrite oh look at this glorious sun oh thank you thank you um so this mukaite is also very protective especially emotionally if you're having emotional issues this is a good stone to have on you grounding and, you know, we, we do store our emotions in our sacral chakra, and that's where that stone resonates with. So it's also good for physical issues, phys physical health, like fortifying the immune system. Um, it's good for um, the liver, the spleen, you know, those, those organs on your lower right. Um, it's good for the stomach, you know, digestion. I love it. You can't even see me now. And I'm totally fine with that. Grandfather, son, thank you. 
So that's a really good stone to have on hand. Now, I think it's interesting that the sun is right there and it's huge. I'm going to turn around. Yep, there it is. Now I can't see it all. Um, the sun shows up when we're going to work with the Lemurians. In other words, the light shows up when we're going to work with the Lemurians. The Lemurians are bringing in the light. I do not believe in coincidences. The Lemurians show up. The sun is right here. There I am. Um, the Lemurians bring in the light. And today's card is card number 12. One plus two is three. Um, this is the card of water and it's the overflow. And I just have to point out, and I'll show you the card in a second. The light is coming out of this being's hands, heart chakra, um, soul star chakra. There's just light coming out of everywhere. And we have, of course, the light. Hitting us. No coincidences. All right, card number 12. Card number 12 says, The being in the picture has many hands, and yet still the water is allowed to fall through her fingers. It blesses her in the moments it touches her radiant skin and then continues on its journey. Her heart is overflowing with love. Her eyes are filled with tears. She allows what comes through to move her without control. She gracefully allows whatever she is feeling to be expressed. And as she does so, she radiates so much light into the world. Can you hear that? The crows are back on the roof. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> the crows are bringing you a message. If this means something to you, um, I mentioned the crows in stack number two. Now they're actually on the roof in stack number three. The crows are messengers. They bring messages from the other side. So if this means something to you, take it. Um, it also sounds like knocking. The other side is knocking and saying, hey, are you paying attention? Because we're here. And so this, this card is talking about flow. It's talking about water. It's talking about light and flowing with it. Whatever changes are coming, we're supposed to flow with them. When we receive messages like from the sun or the crows, don't take it. <laughs> don't take it lightly. Ha 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 was one of my guides. They think that's funny. Don't take the sun lightly. Um, I just want to do this. Oh. <laughs> um, we've been receiving messages for a long, long, long time. Even if you're not aware of the fact that you're, you've been, you've been given messages, that's okay. But know that the veil is getting so freaking thin. It's like a wet tissue and people that have never been into this stuff before are coming to me and we're out in the boonies um, and they're saying, um, okay, this is what's going on in my life. What's going on? And I'm like, okay, that's your grandmother. Your grandmother has been giving you messages and you need to wake up to this. It is time for everybody to wake up. Now, not everybody is going to wake up. Okay, there's going to be people that are just so resistant. They're like, nope, 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 that's not for me. That's fine. They get to choose. We can't force anybody else to wake up. But if you're watching this video, I'm hoping that you are either awake or a little tiny bit awake or you kind of want to be awake. Okay, and when I say awake, I'm not talking about the woke bullshit out there. I'm talking about 
being open so that you can receive a message from grandmother on the other side or you know your pet that you lost 30 years ago um they've all been trying to give us messages just like the crows and the deer and the dogs and the horses they're all trying to give us messages hello stop feeling so anxious that anxiety doesn't serve any part of your highest and greatest good that's low frequency energy that's way 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 down there that's you know yucky energy stop being anxious find a way to raise your frequency up and go with the flow that's right brain that is right brain that is heart do what makes you happy and calm especially in the next few weeks okay there's no point in freaking out i feel like that's the theme for today because there are people that are freaking out and i don't feel bad for them i feel neutral which is where i'm supposed to be i'm an observer because there's nothing i can do to make them not freak out so I can't change anybody else except myself. So I change myself. And then if somebody says, hey, how come you're so calm through all this? I can say, well, this is what I do. Lead by example. Go with the flow. Am I like this 100% of the time? No, I have my moments. But then I go sit down, I hold my two doggies, have some chocolate, take deep breaths, meditate. Go for a walk, talk to grandfather's son, and I feel better. So that was stack number three. Let's finish off with some singing bell. And I am so grateful. I'm going to put the sun right in the singing bowl. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. I am so grateful for all of you. I'm so grateful for the sun and the moon and the earth and the sky. I'm so grateful for everything. <laughs> yeah, I see you doing your thing up there. I'm so grateful for everything and everybody because this is why I came here in this lifetime at this time. To have a front row seat, to be in the audience, to be an observer. So I'm so grateful for everything. I love you guys. I'm so glad you tuned in with me today. <laughs> you get to see the sun. Oh, I send you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, divine health, hope, and all good things. Because I know you're worthy. I know you deserve it all. Grandfather Sun says, yeah, you deserve it. So have a beautiful, blessed day, my soul family. Mwah. Namaste.